dude. You're way better than Hillary Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. I think so too. I think so yeah. too. I think you do a way better job. Oh, definitely. Uh, Bradley for president, 2020. Bradley for president, 2020. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Mm. I'll be there. I'll be, he, he's gonna be there. <laughs> a friend recently asked me, "How do we find out what do we want to do?" I mean. That is probably the biggest question, right? <sighs> do what you want to do. You know, go for whatever it is that you're passionate about. Dream your beautiful fucking dream. What the fuck it is? I don't know. Most of us probably don't. And that is probably the dying question, like, how? Do we find our purpose? How do we find out our true passion or our calling, right? And this is what I figured out. So, I still don't know <laughs> what it is that my true purpose or my calling or my destiny or my passion, whatever it is that I want to do. Okay? But, realized that I actually know quite well what I don't want. I don't want to be stuck in an office doing 9 to 5. Don't want to be stuck in a toxic relationship. Never in a <laughs> been in a relationship. Probably that's why. Don't want to be stuck uh, you know in a job that I don't like or, or I'm doing only just for the money or just to get by or whatever it is that we get into jobs for nowadays, right? And so I realized that if I were to not do what I don't want, then I allow myself to keep discovering what it is that I want to do, right? And if I don't settle for an answer, if I don't settle for a purpose just yet, it's like, yo, I still don't know what my true purpose is, but I know now what I don't want to do. I have a penny from 1963 <laughs> when August 28th, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Had a Dream speech right up here, nice. facing the Washington Monument. Hold up, hold up, there we go. Very nice. And this is the reflection pool. We can see the sun's reflection as well. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna take this ironic penny. All right. And I'm going to make a wish into the reflection pool. Sweet. Let's do that. Nice. So, instead of trying to, you know, beat ourselves down, trying to find out what is it that we want to do, do all kinds of things and find out which ones we don't like and stop doing it. and so instead of being pulled being drawn by our passion or calling drawn to the things that we like or we want to do because we just don't know what the fuck it is we don't know what we want allow ourselves to be pushed away from everything that we don't like or that we don't want, you know? And eventually, we might just find ourselves, you know, after all the being like, whoa, fuck, yeah, I don't want that, I don't want this, like, oh, no, get away, just fucking tai chi the fuck out of life. And then suddenly you end up, you find yourself, you feel the fucking lavenders and roses and all this fucking beauty. Like, how did I end up here? 
God knows. But this place is kind of chill. This thing is kind of nice. Whatever I'm doing is feels good, feels right. I think you can hold on to this a little bit longer. And then, then that's it. At that point, you still know if that is really what you want to do for the rest of your life? Maybe, maybe not. But it's just a shift in perspective. Instead of trying to figure out what you want to do now, boom, this is what I want to do. Don't be too hard on yourself. I was hard on myself and that was probably the cause, of, like the source of my suffering, my pain and depression. But when I, you know, told myself, okay, bro, chill, you know, it's not a, it's not the end of the world that I don't know what it is that I want to do just yet. But I know what I don't want to do, so I'm pushed away from all these things that I don't want, and then bam, suddenly, by like luck or miracle or like, I don't know, you let life surprise you and life does indeed fucking surprise you. And just keep surprising yourself redefining yourself rediscovering yourself eventually impressing yourself and when you finally do impress yourself that's when you know chunky ciao it's alright man did you play a song? alright I'll play this song for you. All right. Just for you. Just for me. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Nice man. Thanks Whenever so much. You see you girl, you tell her. Come here. Oh, baby, yeah. Nice. <laughs> have a good day, I man. Got yeah. To tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You have a good one. You too, brother. Thanks. <laughs>